Good morning. It is Thursday, March 28th. Today is Holy Thursday, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Hamley. Coming up, I'm sharing a sermon by St. Melito of Sardis on Jesus, the Lamb who is slain. But first, your local weather and this news. A man living in the U.S. illegally has been arrested and charged with murder in connection to the death of his girlfriend here in Michigan. News Nation's Emily Finn has more. Police did confirm that Ruby Garcia was in a romantic relationship with Brandon Ortiz Vite, calling her death a domestic violence homicide. He's facing five felony charges, including murder and carjacking. He admitted to illegally purchasing the gun that he used to kill Garcia and confessed to shooting her in her car multiple times following an argument and then leaving her body on the side of the road. Ortiz Vita called 911 Sunday from a church in Allegan County to surrender and her car was found near South Haven with blood stains and bullet holes inside. He'd been deported in 2020 to Mexico after a drunk driving arrest in Grand Rapids. U.S. Energy Secretary and former Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm says the Biden administration has a new pilot program to get battery plant workers certified in the state. She discussed the program in Lansing on Tuesday, along with Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin, and Acting Labor Secretary Julie Su at the United Auto Workers Hall. We want these consumers to buy the cars that the UAW is making. And so therefore, every consumer now, again, because of this agenda, is able to get a $7,500 tax credit off at the dealer if the car is made in America. Granholm says the pilot is a certified training program to make sure there are trained workers available when future battery plants come online. She notes sales of electric vehicles powered by batteries have been slower than project, but she adds that she expects them to be up as much as 30% this year. Catholics at St. John Fisher Chapel University Parish are engaging in a centuries-old devotion to the holy face of Jesus in preparation for Christ's passion and death through the veneration of a relic resembling Christ's face on Veronica's veil. The devotion aims to make reparation for sins against God following revelations to a French Carmelite nun in the 1840s. The relic, tied to miraculous events and touched to instruments of the Passion, travels around for veneration. This devotion was facilitated by figures like Venerable Leo Dupont and continues to inspire faith and prayer, emphasizing God's enduring love and mercy amid suffering. You can view the relic now through Good Friday at St. John Fisher Chapel University Parish in Auburn Hills. Over 2,300 University of Michigan Health employees are joining Service Employees International Union Healthcare Michigan. The phlebotomists, unit clerks, and patient services employees are joining roughly 80% of the Michigan medicine workforce that belongs to a labor union. Some employees say the difference in non-union workers and union workers became more apparent during the COVID-19 pandemic. You're listening to a Holy Thursday edition of Michigan Mornings on Ave Maria Radio. Your local weather is next. Now this. For your Holy Thursday today in Detroit, expect mostly sunny skies with highs in the lower 50s. Tonight will also be clear with lows in the upper 30s. We'll have sunny skies for our Good Friday with highs in the mid-50s. Saturday, the clouds return, bringing with them a 70% chance of rain. Highs will be in the lower 50s. For our Easter Sunday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies and highs in the lower 50s. For your Holy Thursday today in Saginaw, expect mostly sunny skies with highs in the mid-40s. Tonight will be clear with lows in the upper 20s. We'll have sunny skies for our Good Friday with highs in the lower 40s. Saturday, the clouds return, bringing with them a chance of showers. Highs will be in the upper 40s. And on Easter Sunday, you can expect mostly cloudy skies and highs around 50. Welcome back to Michigan Mornings. I'm Matthew Handley. All week we've been reviewing what the church fathers have had to say about the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today I want to share with you a selection from an Easter homily by St. Melito of Sardis. There was much proclaimed by the prophets about the mystery of the Passover. That mystery is Christ, and to him be glory forever and ever. Amen. For the sake of suffering humanity, he came down from heaven to earth 
clothed himself in that humanity in the virgin's womb, and was born a man. Having then a body capable of suffering, he took the pain of fallen man upon himself. He triumphed over the diseases of the soul and body that were its cause, and by his spirit, which was incapable of dying, he dealt man's destroyer death a fatal blow. He was led forth like a lamb, he was slaughtered like a sheep. He ransomed us from our servitude to the world as he ransomed Israel from the land of Egypt. He freed us from our slavery to the devil as he had freed Israel from the hand of Pharaoh. He sealed our souls with his own spirit and the members of our body with his own blood. He is the one who covered death with shame and cast the devil into mourning as Moses cast Pharaoh into mourning. He is the one who smote sin and robbed iniquity of offspring as Moses robbed the Egyptians of their offspring. He is the one who brought us out of slavery into freedom, out of darkness into light, out of death into life, out of tyranny into an eternal kingdom, who made us a new priesthood, a people chosen to be his own forever. He is the Passover that is our salvation. It is he who endured every kind of suffering in all those who foreshadowed him. In Abel he was slain, in Isaac bound, in Jacob exiled, in Joseph sold, in Moses exposed to die. He was sacrificed in the Passover lamb, persecuted in David, and dishonored in the prophets. It was he who was made man of the virgin, who was hung on the tree. It is he who is buried in the earth, raised from the dead, and taken up to the heights of heaven. He is the mute lamb, the slain lamb, the lamb born of Mary, the fair you. He was seized from the flock, dragged off to be slaughtered, sacrificed in the evening, and buried at night. On the tree no bone of his was broken, in the earth his body knew no decay. He is the one who rose from the dead, who has raised man from the depths of the tomb. Again, that's from an Easter homily by St. Melito of Sardis. That's going to do it for this edition of Michigan Mornings. Lord willing, I will be back tomorrow with a special Good Friday edition of the program. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>